Welcome to the Sage Pastel Counting How To video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create suppliers in Sage Pastel Counting. Firstly, open your Sage Pastel Counting program and the company in the Sage Pastel Counting program. Next, click on Edit Supplier Accounts. The Edit Supplier Account screen will display asking you to enter an account code and description. The account code can be alpha, numeric or alphanumeric. This means it can contain letters, numbers or letters and numbers. Please do not enter any special characters like hash, exclamation or at. The account code can also only be a maximum of six characters. Once you have entered your account code, next enter your description. Again, this should contain only letters, numbers, or letters and numbers. Again, please do not use any special characters like hash, exclamation, or at. Once you have entered your account code and description, on the details tab, you will be asked to enter the supplier's postal address, physical address, the contact person, as well as the contact person's telephone number, fax number, mobile number, and email address. Once you have entered all of the relevant information on the details page, click on the processing tab. Firstly, you will be asked what tax to use when processing to the supplier. Do you wish to use exclusive values or inclusive values? You will also be asked if you wish to set a default tax. You can choose to have no tax type default, to default a specific tax type, or to force a tax type. If you select no tax type default or default tax type, this means that when processing to the supplier, you will still be able to choose between all the other tax types you have set up other than the default that you have set or if there is no default set. If, however, you choose to force a tax type, the tax type you choose will be the only tax type you will be able to use when processing. Make your selection accordingly and you can also enter your tax reference for the supplier. If you are using Sage Pastel Partner and you have purchased the multi-currency add-on module, you will also be asked to choose a currency code. If, however, you are using Sage Pastel Express or you did not purchase the multi-currency add-on module, this option will either be missing or grayed out. Next, you will need to choose the processing method. Do you wish the supplier to be open item or balance forward? Open item means that you will be able to match payments to specific invoices, whereas if you select balance forward, this means that the payment will come off of the total amount you owe the supplier. Make your selection and next look at the terms. On the terms, you can choose between monthly terms and day based terms. These terms will be given to you by the supplier and this is the period of time you have in which to pay the supplier. If you are on monthly terms, you will then be able to choose between current 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, or 120 days. If, however, the supplier is given you day-based terms, where you see normal terms, you will need to click on the magnifying glass. And if the terms do not show in the list, click on modify. You will then enter the terms that the supplier has given you. For example, 14 days from the date of the invoice and click on OK and select this option. Early terms are a discount that the supplier will give you if you pay for the invoices before your terms. If, for example, you are on monthly terms and the supplier has given you a 2.5% discount if you pay within seven days from the date of the invoice, you can select this option and this means that you will pay 2.5% less for every invoice that you pay within seven days from the date of the invoice. You can also set up your freight method, your ship or delivery and your credit limit. Under printing, you need to choose what to do with the documentation. Do you wish to print the documents, email the purchase order through to the supplier, print the documents and email the purchase order? For your remittances, you can also choose whether you wish to print your remittances, 
email your remittances or print and email your remittances. Please note, if you select an option where you choose to email or print and email, you will need to ensure that there is a valid email address set up. Next, you've got your Balances tab. This will show you your purchases this year versus your purchases last year, as well as your balance this year versus your balance last year. Under your user defined fields, these fields are used for any field that is not available for you to choose under your details or processing. And lastly, we have your notes. Your notes are where you have set up specific notes in Sage Pastel Accounting and they will display on this tab for the specific supplier showing you the status, the entry date, the action date, the subject and the linked file. Once you have set up all the necessary details, processing options and user-defined fields, you can then click on Save. You have now created your first supplier and you will need to follow this process until all your suppliers have been loaded.